guys welcome back to the civil engineering youtube channel please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos today our lecture is about the free body diagram this lecture is related to the engineering mechanics which is very necessary for the engineering students to know about the free body diagram so that they can draw the free body diagram for every type of beam and with the different load conditions so the free body diagram can be defined as a free body diagram is a graphical representation used to visualize the applied forces, the movements and resulting reactions on a body. I will explain this definition with the help of some examples to clarify for you guys. So let's consider this in a simply supported beam with the roller and hinge support and the load is acting, let's suppose the P load is acting at the center of this beam. So the free body diagram of this beam will look like I will replace the supports by the reaction forces because these reaction forces will provide resistance to the applied load. So the two reactions will be provided if I consider this is A and this is B. So this reaction will be RA and this reaction will be RB. Similarly, the load is acting here at the midpoint of the beam. So this is the free body diagram of this simply supported beam. Now let's consider the cantilever beam with the pointed load acting at the end of the beam. This is the cantilever beam with the pointed load P acting at the end of the beam. So the free body diagram for this beam will look like I will draw first the beam and then the load acting at the edge of the beam is P. So this P is will be resisted by this support if it is a fixed support. So I can I can draw the resistance force is the let's suppose is a point A so the reaction will be provided at this point will be the RA to this load and similarly due to this load the moment will act and this beam will deflect like in this way as a cantilever beam so the moment will be resisted at this point in which free body diagram I can show the moment here at this point is moment MA here the moon the negative moment will create at the end of the beam uh, at the fixed support of the beam which we call as the MA. So this is the free body diagram for this type of the beam with this loading. Now I'm going to draw the other type of the beam with different incline loading. Let's suppose similarly this is the hand, su hand support and there is a roller support, simply supported beam but in this case the load acting is incline load acting on this beam and it's represented by the IP. So the free body diagram can be drawn like in this way, first I will draw the beam and these are the two support reactions which can resist this load. So due to this load, if incline load, there are two components of this load. One is vertical and one is horizontal. So the two load components will be resisted by either this one or either this one. So as we know that there is a roller support, it can only resist the vertical. So I can draw as vertical resistance R. I call it B and it call it A, so this will be R A, and similarly the vertical would also be resisted by this support, which is the hinge support. So we call is the R A. Here we can call is R B, but this is the vertical, so we can call it R A V vertical. And the horizontal, horizontal component of this force will be only resisted by this one because it is it is the property of the hinge support to resist the horizontal load while the roll support cannot resist any horizontal load so the whole horizontal force will be resisted only by this component by this support so I can draw that the horizontal reactions will be provided at this support so RA horizontal so this is the free body diagram for this kind of the beam with the inclined load now you should note some important uh, things about the free body diagram and these are the equations and the equilibrium conditions for the Free body diagram. You should must remember that your summation of horizontal forces should be equal to zero when you draw the free body diagram for any beam. Your summation of vertical forces will be equal to zero. Your summation of moment is equal to zero. So these are the three conditions, equations used for the equilibrium and to draw the, for any to draw any free body diagram for the beam. For example, let's consider the same example. It it was the simply supported beam with the load P acting at the center so we draw the force is this one is P so 
this force is a vertical force so we should know that our summation of vertical forces should be zero so that force will be only resisted by these two supported so in this case our summation of forces should be equal to zero so that there is no other force uh, which will which will act on this beam or which will be resisted by this beam only the vertical force so the vertical force summation of vertical force will be zero it means that this support and this support will resist this load if r called is r a and this i called is r b so r a adding with r b will be equal to the p the summation of all forces will be equal to zero so this was the main concept about the free body diagram hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching my video